Hello viewer and welcome to what I hope is going to be the best Pony tutorial so far, even though I've only made one. Anyway, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you, yes, hold your applause, how to triple boot your Mac. In this tutorial you are going to need one uh, Mac computer running Leopard. Anyway. Uh, you're also going to need to have boot camp um, set up already. First thing that you're going to want to do is open up your good old friend disk utility. I'm going to assume that you know enough about computers to not be a, a caveman. You click on your, um, your main hard drive. That's basically your internal hard drive. And then you click on partition. And I already have my hard drive partitioned for uh, Mac. Linux and Windows. I have uh, 121 gigs for uh, Mac, uh, 10 gigs for Linux, and 15 gigs for Windows. I don't know why Windows is bigger than them all. Maybe it's reflecting uh, their ego or something, but I really don't care. This is not a uh, representation of uh, how good the operating systems are. Um, just pretend like you don't see this disk 0 s3 okay just pretend like that is invisible to you and there's only mac and windows which is what yours should be like right now so click on your mac partition and then click on the plus symbol and that's gonna make a whatever your mac partition name is with a little underscore and then two let's just give this fake Linux partition 10 gigs and it really doesn't matter what you name this because it's eventually gonna turn out something like this then you would click on apply now I'm gonna teach you how to uh, uh, mess with your EFI I believe it is uh, by downloading REFI it and that would be Uh, R E F I T. That's what I think it's called. Yeah, there we go. It's called R E F I T or refit. Anyway, so what this basically does is um, improves the way your Mac uh, starts up, sort of, so that when you start up your computer, it's gonna say, "Would you like to boot into Linux, Mac, or Windows?" Um, so, yeah, download this bad boy, okay? Click on there, download it, extract it, install it, do whatever you need to do to it. Then, type in, all lower cases, type in cd space slash efi slash refit. Then, press enter. Then, type dot slash enable dot sh and then press enter that's the end okay now um, you need to uh, burn yourself a Linux disk or buy yourself a Linux disk and boot from that everybody this is my MacBook Now, as you remember, you need to have installed um, refit it or else um, the instructions that I'm doing right now won't apply. Okay, so, right now it shows this. Okay, in your case, um, only this icon and this icon and this icon should be showing. Okay? So I'm gonna, you're gonna want to go over to there, which is your uh, Linux disk, and uh, click enter. Let's zoom out of my ugly screen, which I never cleaned because I use my second screen so much. So um, then um, it asks you if you want to uh, start or install Ubuntu. And then just hit the answer key. 
and now this uh, since it's technically booting an operating system from a CD this is gonna take you know a minute or two so uh, let's actually um, I will uh, turn this video back on when it has finished okay turns out it took like a minute to load the graphical interface and uh, while it was loading I remembered something that I could say to you and that is that when burning an Ubuntu CD burn it at the slowest speed possible because just one file not being copied to that CD can mean complete and utter devastation when installing. Okay, so let me just go ahead and zoom in. Uh, right now, uh, this is booting from the CD. And now I'm going to walk you through the installation. Go ahead and click on the install. Uh, the install icon, the install application, whatever you call it. Um, also, another little uh, tidbit of info, if you will. Um, uh, the reason why you don't want to install Ubuntu uh, Ubuntu 7.04 VC Fawn, uh, the reason you don't want to uh, put that in is because it doesn't doesn't automatically recognize your screen resolution and it doesn't look as pretty full. So, um, right now it's asking me what my language is. So, then I go forward. This is the easy part of the install, don't worry. There's going to be a hard part. So, uh, then choose where you live. I'm just going to say that I live in St. John's, which apparently is in Canada. So, go forward. And now it's asking me what keyboard layout I have. If you have some crazy keyboard layout, you might want to select one of these, but in my case, the US English, US English um, layout works just fine. So, forward. Now comes the hard part. This, in this part, you're actually going to be reformatting your uh, your Linux partition so that Linux can write to it. So, um, on the install thingy, you click on manual, and then you go forward. And now you're going to need to remember how big um, your Linux partition that you made um, is. In my case, I remember that mine was 10 gigabytes. So, um, just choose whichever one is roughly around 10 gigabytes. And there we go. Uh, then you click on Edit Partition. And um, since I've already done all of this before, it looks perfect right now. So, um, right now, this shouldn't say anything. And this should be completely blank. Anyway, so, where it says Use As, click on Extension 3, or X, EXT3. And then on this box, you just put slash, okay? Okay. So then you click on OK, and then you click forward. Uh, we're getting to the final steps. Now you just type in your name. Just type in your name and whatever. Then go forward. Now, this is probably, this part screwed me up. Okay, so. Now, you are going to need to remember where your Linux partition is. In my case, it's dev slash sda3. And then, once you've done that, you just click on install and you're good to go. Okay, starting up, REFI it is there. I don't know why I call it REFI it. I'm retard. So now you should have Mac, Linux, and Windows. And as of now, you have successfully triple booted your computer.